The European Commission said on Monday that it was politically untenable for John Daly to remain the EU Health Commissioner. Daly resigned last week after an anti-fraud investigation linked him to attempts to influence EU tobacco legislation. The ex-commissioner denies any wrongdoing. We consider that it was politically untenable for Mr. Daly to, uh, to remain uh, in, in his sensitive function because we consider that he had several unofficial contacts with the industry of tobacco through a private intermediary the famous Maltese entrepreneur, without there being any discernible or legitimate reasons to involve this intermediary. Earlier last week, the Commission said that Dali had resigned voluntarily in order to clear his name. However, the Commission confirmed this week that the former Commissioner was asked to resign. Please take note of the fact that the President de offered him the possibility of uh, resigning after reading the conclusions of the OLAF report, which were in a letter from OLAF, so the President submitted this to him, the outcome of the investigation. Dali's resignation comes only days before new tough EU laws on tobacco are due to advance. The former commissioner has argued he may be the victim of a lobbying campaign to block tobacco legislation. What is going to happen, especially on the time of time frame now that we are talking about, since what I'm hearing is that this is frozen until a new Maltese uh, commissioner is uh, appointed, then uh, it means that con taking into account that this new Maltese commissioner would not be, would, would not go to the whole process, and even if the name is shoot tomorrow, um, uh, before January, um, and uh, it would probably take a month before uh, the new directive is put through the, uh, the inter-service consultation, which will take another two months. This will push the uh, tobacco industry out of the time frame of becoming legislation during this legislature, which means that in 2015 we start all over again. Dali is due to meet European Parliament President Martin Schulz on Tuesday in Strasbourg to plead his innocence. Malta has nominated Foreign Minister Tonio Borg to replace John Dali as its European Commissioner. The nomination must be approved by the European Parliament after a hearing where the candidate is squeezed by MEPs.